So last night you saw the NBA season has started now already. So now today's video we're gonna be doing the new series is now the NBA 2024-2025 predictions and allow will enter the for the fourth straight because since 2022 predictions not include so now we're gonna start off it's in the northwest division starting off my first my northwest prediction picks there the fifth place goes to portland trailblazers will finish the record of 0.755 Fourth place, Utah Jazz with 38-44. Now, in my comments, still the team is since to happen. The new hockey team in the NHL is the Utah Hockey Club. The new NHL team since the Arizona Coyotes who relocated to Utah Hockey Club will become the name. And the Utah Hockey Club still not be the, the name similar to 2020 Washington football team who does not name as part of the Redskins name controversy. Before renaming 2022, it was Commanders. Third place is the Young OKC Thunder, record of 45-37, so the Jazz are 38-44, so 45-37 of OKC. Last season, Thunder, who play, who finished number one seed, will become on the first become the first team in NBA history that's the youngest team in NBA ever to play the number one seed. This was the last season the Thunder will get the first seed since 2013, still playing with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Second place, it was the Minnesota Timberwolves, led by Anthony Edwards and Rudy Gobert, and since because Kyle Anthony Towns got left, replacing by Junius Randle and Dante DiVincenzo and part of the trade. So I think that last season the Timberwolves made it to the Western Conference Finals to defeat the, the Nuggets in seven before losing games five against the Mavericks and the Dominant. I think the Timberwolves will get 53 and 29. And finally, the first place it was the Nuggets. Denver Nuggets led by the reigning MVP Nikola Jokic for ready for the Northern back-to-back MVPs once again and I think we're going to get go for the Denver Nuggets guard 58-24 so here's the Northwest predictions the 5th place Portland Trail Blazers the 4th place Utah Jazz 3rd place Oklahoma City Thunder 2nd place Minnesota Timberwolves and the 1st place Denver Nuggets we went on the Pacific Division we got Hold on, is that in the copy? Okay, it's the password. So fifth place, it was the Sacramento Kings. Last season, the Kings almost missed the, made it to the playoffs as they lose the last play-in team. And Serpent State Discord said, Laker fans, Laker nation, Laker nation is said. So the Kings are going to go fifth place in the NBA. Has it for 37 wins and 45 losses. Four players Golden State Warriors and this was the first season the Golden State Warriors without Splash Brother was Clay Thompson who joins the Dallas now who's gonna become a super team here the Warriors are no longer the end of the Dynasty era. They're called Dynasty Warriors team. Dynasty Warriors would let Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Andre Godala, and Draymond Green who met in the finals five times in six at least. So the Warriors are going to go over 41 41, the fourth place. Third place, the Phoenix Suns last season. The Phoenix Suns, the who, play, who finished the season in sixth place before lose the swept by the first round by the Timberwolves. So I think the Suns, led by Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, will finish with 42 to 40. The second place, LA Clippers, the first season, it was the new arena who go to Crypto Duckman Arena from Crypto Duckman Arena to the new arena called Inter Dome, who is still playing with Kawhi. Nellard and James Harden. So I think the Clippers will win. Take it second place with 44 38. Last season, the Clippers won the division before losing the first round by the Mavericks in six games. And finally, I surprisingly, in the NBA, we're going to Lakers because since the Lakers is strong, we didn't happen to see the strong. They're led by the first year head coach of the Lakers, JJ Reddick, and they make history become the first NBA player. To become a father son duo, the father of LeBron James and the son of LeBron James is called Bronny James, called James Brothers, and called the son of LeBron James, called Bronny James, who was born on October 6, 2004. The Lakers gonna become stronger, become a super team with Bronny James. It's gonna be the first time. LeBron James and Browning James to become a duo. I've never seen this before. So Lakers will go 50 and 32.
So here's the Pacific Division standings to finish. Lakers 50-32, Clippers 44-38, Suns 42-40, Warriors 41-41, and Kings 37-45. Next up in the Southwest, we got the Rockets. I'm going to take the trash since Jalen Green. Season happened the last season, almost made the playoffs as a hot winning streak on the back in March. So this is what happened to the Rockets won in the rainy streak. So I think the Rockets are not good. I think they're 33 and 49. Second, fourth place is the New Orleans Pelicans. Last season, the Pelicans made it to the playoffs as the seventh place. And it happened because it was the first playing game against the Lakers before winning against the Kings in the eighth place. So the first round they ended up swept by the Thunder. So that was the easy and it happened the worst nightmare by CJ McCollum. So I'm going to take the Pelicans for 44-2. Everyone has Third place Grizzlies. Last season did not miss the miss the playoffs because Grizzlies meet losing the superstar John Moran who injury due to the shoulder will out of the season and the rest of the year and end the up. So I think the Grizzlies are looking to revamp and rebuild something and we're trying to board a resurgent team. So I think I'm done there. The Grizzlies will take it 41 41. We're gonna take the third place. Second place, it was the San Antonio Spurs, led by who did the last season? Chris Paul joins the Golden State before back to, had to join with San Antonio with Bector Van Biyama. So year two, led by Bector Van Biyama. I think the better that happened there. The last time the San Antonio Spurs made it to the playoffs, then back in two thousand nineteen because it was the longest playoff streaks. They came back to Tim Duncan, managed notably Tony Parker, and. Kawhi Leonard alongside the legends David Robinson. The Spurs will finish 43 and 39. And, uh, and finally, my favorite team go to first place. It was the Dallas Mavericks led by Luka, the Shakari Irving, and Clay Thompson. So I think the Luka will finish them off here. So I think the last season the Mavericks lose to the finals in game five and they ended up losing to the Boston Celtics in five games. So hopefully the Mavericks trying to get ready another championship quest. So finishing off some picking sixty two and twenty. Here's the Southwest standings. The Mavericks are first, Spurs are second, Grizzlies are third, Pelicans are fourth, and Rockets are fifth. Move on the east side. So we got the Eastern Conference team, the fifth place goes to Toronto Raptors. I think the better trash will go three wins and since Brooklyn Nets are in the fourth place, we're gonna finish with thirty four Wins in 48 loss, and now from the third place, it was led by first season Joel Embiid and Paul George the duo. However, Embiid and Paul George will not play because of injury tomorrow up against the Bucks. So the Sixers last season, they ended the playoffs as the seventh seed. Thanks to recovery of Joel Embiid and still injury before losing in the first round by New York Knicks in six. So I think the Sixers will take it 49 and 33. This one. Second place is the New York Knicks. Last season, New York Knicks in their playoffs as the second seed. Last time the Knicks reached the Eastern Conference Finals, it was 2000, who still played by Patrick Ewing. And the fortunately, since it happened, almost lost a game seven, who lost in the rival with the Pacers. So I think the Knicks, led by Jalen Jalen Brunson and Kyle Anthony Towns, the duo, and alongside Julius Randle and Spencer Dickwitty. It's in the San Julius Randall no right enough now. So Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brunson, Tal Anthony Towns, and Spencer Deed Weedy. And actually, it's not Spencer Deed Weedy. It's nonsense. So Jalen Brunson, Carl Anthony Towns, and Mikhail Bridges. So I'm going to take a get and a half. Been here if we got Spencer Deed It's not in the Knicks. Mikhail Bridges looked like two time animation. Two tall animations look like face similar. Um. When he danced pause. So the New Year Knicks will finish the second place with 53 and 29. And then finally, the first place is the reigning champion Boston Celtics, led by the dynamic duo of the Boston is Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Last season, they won the championship with the banner number 18 in the time to say anything is possible set. So the, the still legends of our main the Celtics led by Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen. Paul Pierce, Ray John Rondo, Larry Bird, rest in peace to the Bill Russell. So that's why the Sotis legend are still are everywhere. The Sotis fans are in 66 wins. We're gonna take the Sotis for a win. 66 wins in a row. Here's the Atlantic Division standings. Raptors, Nets, Sixers, Knicks, and Sotis are the first place. 
He's going to finish them off. So next up is the Central Division. Started the fifth place Detroit Pistons as the last season. And this because that's why a struggle in a winless November before. We won the win the endless winless month winless month of the year in December for winning against Toronto. So the Pistons led by by Kate Cunningham's to a trash. And we're gonna get to take the trash then we're gonna take it fifty wins to the worst record team in Piston Thanks, history. Uh, what? Fourth place it was okay. the Chicago Bulls. Last season Chicago Bulls missed the play missed the playoffs after it's the last play in spot. Again, they lose the Miami Heat in the last playing spot, so led by Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. I think I'm going to get the Bulls out of the playoffs with 40 wins and 42 losses. Third place, Cleveland Cavaliers. Last season, the Cavaliers make the playoffs as a four seed once again. Before the win, the second round against Boston Celtics so and the loss of the second round. And then after the because game the seven, amazing comeback over in the Magic. So the Cavaliers will finish with 42 wins and 40 loss, and the Bulls throw 39 wins and 43 loss. Second place, Indiana Pacers. Indiana Pacers are the second place last season in the sixth seed, who led by Tyrese Halliburton, the terror, who are opposite Milwaukee because Giannis and the Boys were injured. Yes. New York Knicks are upset, and then before Swift before lose to Boston Celtics and Swift in the Eastern Conference Finals, and I think the Pacers surprise are going to take the 45 wins in three series to us, and it happened in Pacers still in the reigning in season, aka NBA Cup. So it's going to go to Pacers who will take it. And finally, the first place, the Milwaukee Bucks last season. The Bucks, Bucks are they ended up injuring led by Giannis Antetokounmpo is injured, and Damian Lillard is also injured. So that means the Bucks are taking 57 wins. Here is the Central Division standings: Bucks are 57, Pacers are 45, Cavaliers are 42, Bulls are 39, and Pistons are 15. And finally, in the last one in the East, in the last standings in the Southeast. In the Southeast, we got the Wizards on the fifth place. How close to my Jordan Fuller out please. I'm going to take the fifth place there with 19 wins. Fourth place led by the Mellow Bob the Horses also struggle. <sighs> I think I'm going to get taken over the 23 wins for the Hornets. I think the Hornets will take 23 wins. Hawks are in third place. Last season, the Hawks not make it to the playoffs in the past and losing the play against Chicago. I think I'm going to get the Hawks get it did with 40 wins and 42 loss. Second place is the Orlando Magic. It's, it's the Orlando Magic in the fourth place. Second place last season, they won the division title before losing in Game 7 by the collapse in Game 7 with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Malo Becaro make it the third year as a separate I think the Magic were off 44 and 38. And the finally, Jimmy Butler and Miami Heat were surprisingly last season. Miami Heat finished the playoffs as the 8th seed before losing and returning champion Boston Celtics. So 48 wins and 34 losses. Here's the final standings in Southeast Heat in the first, Magic in the second, Hawks in the third, Hornets in the fourth, and Wizards in the fifth. Here's some final standings. Things. Here's the final standings in the playoff pitcher. The Western Conference for the top six teams made it to the playoffs. The first place, Dallas Mavericks. Second place, Nuggets. Third, and Timbos. Four, Lakers. Five, Thunder. Six, Clippers. And for the play-in team with the top four teams made it, we got Spurs, Suns, Warriors, and Grizzlies. And out of the playoffs, we got the Pelicans, Jazz, Kings, and Rockets. On the east side, the Boston Celtics in the top six teams alongside Milwaukee Bucks, New York Knicks, Philadelphia 76ers, Miami Heat, and Indiana Pacers were finishing off on the East. And the play-in team, the top four, the Magic, Cavaliers, Hawks, and Bulls. And the out of the playoffs with the Nets, Raptors, Hornets, Wizards, and Pistons. So now we enter the playoff bracket now. So it's going to become to make it to the playoffs. So roll to the 2025 NBA Finals once again. As the NBA season round the goal, ready to go once again. So hope you enjoy this video. We're catching up. We'll be right back here. Listen and hopefully enjoy it. So subscribe and now. It's time to predictions. Let's get started. Starting off in a playing tournament. The Spurs and the Suns. And I'm gonna sit with Kevin Durant of the Phoenix Suns. Will defeat the San Antonio Spurs. We'll win it and then move on to the first round. We'll play against the Denver Nuggets. 
and then the Warriors and the Grizzlies. I think the Warriors will win over the Grizzlies. Stephen Curry is still alive. Will win it over the Grizzlies. I think the Grizzlies will win. And the last play and win is what? The Warriors and Spurs. And I think like, surprisingly the Spurs will defeat the Warriors. And then move on to the playoffs. And now we'll face with the Mavericks team in the coming of playoffs. On the east side, the Hawks and the Bulls. I think the Red Men revenge for the Hawks will easily destroy the Chicago Bulls. We'll move on. And the Magic and the Cavs. I think the Cavaliers will win this one easily. We'll move on and pass over the land of Magic. We'll win the series. And we'll move on to play the box. And the last play on spot, we got the Hawks and the Magic. And I'm going to take the Palo Bancaro of the Magic. We'll move on to the playoffs. So starting off in the first round playoffs in the West, we got the Mavericks and Spurs. And I think on a good game here, I think the Mavericks will win the series and will win the series in five games. They will pass over the San Antonio Spurs. Lakers and Thunder, but first we're going to pass it out right there. I think the Mavericks will pass out. We'll move on. Oops, they're trying to remove. Second one, Lakers and Thunder. And I'm going to take the Lakers. We'll win the series in six games over the OKC Thunder. The OKC team is led by LeBron James and Anthony Davis. I think the great game. So I'm going to go to the Lakers. will win. I think the Timberwolves are taking right now. So who's going to get take it? So... Um, next up, no. up we got the Timberwolves and the Clippers. I think I'm gonna take the Timberwolves. will win over the Clippers. First, we'll take it to finish off. I think Anthony Edwards will move on here as the Timberwolves defeat the Clippers. Well, also in five games. Nuggets and Suns, and I think the Nuggets will win it. Will defeat the Suns in a. Tight in six games as well. We'll win the series in six games and move on. Move on on the East. Celtics and Magic. And I'm going to sweep. I'm going to sweep here. The Celtics will win. Defeat the Magic. We'll move on and we'll sweep. So the Celtics will sweep the Magic. Move on to the second round. Sixers and the Heat will always will take it in series. In five games. Easy win here for the Sixers. We'll move on their pass over the Miami Heat. Knicks and the Pacers. And we're going to revenge here and going to revenge in Game 7 as Jalen Bronson defeat the Pacers last season. I think they're a revenge. So since the, since the Knicks, last season the Knicks lose the Pacers. And the Knicks try to go into avenge with the Pacers. So I'm going to take the series in 7 games. We'll move on here. The tight one here is so the Knicks will win it. And the Bucks will sweep the Cavaliers four games to none. They're moving on to the conference semifinals. No upsets, no major upsets there. There are no major upsets in the early predictions. So next up in the conference semifinals, we got the Mavericks and the Lakers. So I'm going to take in a seven-game series where we LeBron James, Luka Doncic, Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, and Bronny James, Clay Thompson, I'm going to take a tight one in a fought, hard fought game 7. And the Mavericks will move on to defeat the Lakers. Timberwolves and the Nuggets rematch of last season's Western Conference semifinals. It looks to avenge with Timberwolves team in last season. They ended up game 7, the comeback collapse. And thank Nikola Jokic for revenge over the Timberwolves. Will win the series in 6. Not seven. So the Nuggets will beat the Timberwolves and advances to the conference finals. Celtics and Sixers and they're also a tight one here. I think they'll go the Celtics will pass over the Sixers in six games. We're moving on to the conference semi conference finals. And then the Knicks and the box. And I'm going to get Jalen Brunson will move on, defeat Giannis and Damian Lillard in the seven-game series. We'll move on to the conference finals. And now, our final four in the early predictions. 
We got the Mavericks Nuggets and then Inserted Snakes. For the first spot in the NBA Finals, the Dallas Mavericks and Denver Nuggets. And they're going to go with my favorite team. Dallas Mavericks will move on. So the NBA Finals will win the series in six games. So it's in the Knicks in the Eastern Conference Finals. And I'm going to say the Celtics will win the series and also in a hard fought in Game 7. No more NBA on TNT will be finished them up. So this is going to be the Pharaoh and start of the final year. It's time to say goodbye to NBA on TNT. He's going to be crying now and become a sad. Because now sadly because the NBA on TNT will be no longer next year. They will be replaced by the famous broadcaster the return. Of the NBA on NBC will be next year, so it began on February and the opening day on October, MLK Day, and All Star Game. So the NBC will host for the Eastern Conference Finals, not the NBA Finals. Dead. So the NBC will play for to become a Sunday Night Basketball, which means after the finishing off of the 2025 NFL season and Super Bowl 60. So the NBA Finals 2025 again, we got the rematch between the Dallas and Boston. And we're going to win here and get Luka. We'll get a revenge, then we're going to finish them off with we'll revenge. Over Boston, we'll get the Luka Finals MVP. We'll win the series in six games. And we'll revenge the last season, last time around. That should do it for now. This is Andre Genshin. We'll see you tomorrow. For the NBA 2K12 Choose Their Team Series. And that will fare on the end. And the NBA Early Predictions to start off. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And the NBA season is on their way. You're fully on their way. Tomorrow night will be the second day of the season. Sign up and peace out. Good night everyone. And take care. Have a wonderful day.